moonshine. Back in Virginia, moonshiner Tim is anxious about his own illegal operation and how he can stay one step ahead of the ABC. If Tim really does want to go legit, there's only one other member of the Outlaw Brotherhood he can talk to. I've been making moonshine legal since 1987. I really don't want to expand on anything prior to that. Chuck Miller was one of the biggest moonshiners around. Ours is the best moonshine in all of Virginia. He was carrying on a tradition passed on to him by his grandfather, also a legend in his own time. Some compared him to Popcorn Sutton. Well, they raided the house one day, and Grandpa got in a big fight. It was like 12 against 1. They beat him up pretty bad. Grandma had to call the priest in, give him last rites. He recovered, went on back to business again. After a few brushes with the law of his own, Chuck went legit. But for Tim, it's a big risk. If word gets out that he's thinking of going legit, he'll be shut out, and his shining days will be over for good. You know, I think about if I don't make it, what if the government says, no, we don't want an illegal moonshine or becoming a legal moonshine, then it's kind of like I can't go back now. You know, I can't go back illegal because everyone knows, you know, I've done putting myself out there in the light. I feel like I'm on a train and I can't get off of it. You know, I've done got on it and it doesn't stop. Tim's about to get a heavy dose of reality. If you go legal, you got a sand filter, water softener, carbon filter. You want to know how much corn you use? Moonshiners, all new, next Wednesday at 10, only on Discovery. Moonshining ain't easy, but it sure is fun. Ooh.